Hey Mr. Smith, this is Ben Bulware, and I'm doing some video eval work from your swings from camp. Thanks for coming to camp and just uh, picked up a couple things that I wanted to review with you, so I wanted to back these up and watching your video for a little while. Um, extremely athletic player, and uh, we wish you the best as you get older here. Um, very exciting athletic ability and some natural talent, so uh, keep up the great work. I did see some things uh, that helped me in professional baseball. I was a seventh round draft pick and um, won a minor league batting title, so I've spent the last 15 years uh, either playing or doing evaluations, and there was some things that uh, I saw that I think would really help you in regards to getting you more consistent uh, with your swings and, and things. We have a tendency to want to drift forward or go get the baseball compared to letting the ball travel to us. So. Uh, let's go ahead and go through uh, a couple swings here. And let's first start with our stance. Uh, from an athletic standpoint, uh, very gifted uh, in regards to your hands and uh, your athletic ability. So uh, that's great that you can't teach that. One thing I would do uh, in regards to our, our, our knees is probably just do another hair bend in our knees, and especially in regards to this front side. What happens is uh, we're starting a little bit back and we're ending a little bit more forward uh, or drifting up forward uh, more than we want to because that's going to take more uh, leverage off of our lower half and put it more into my arms and my, my upper body. In mean, regards to your start and your stance, your eyes are on the ball, you have good posture in our uh, torso area, your hands are in a great spot in regards to that uh, by my ears in the launch position. I really like your bat angle. Uh, your stance is great. It's lined up and even uh, I think it's a great start um, and a great stance to, to work with here. So the next part of my swing of analysis wise would be more of my launch position or more my stride foot. So let's go ahead and get yourself, when you go ahead and get yourself loaded here, one thing you'll see, there's a couple things you'll see, is once your front foot lands, which is right there, once your front foot lands, you want to be done going forward. And this is going to be key for you. So I'm going to put a line up on my hip, uh, my shoulder, and my head. And you'll notice as I go, instead of stopping on that line, you're going to keep coming through. So if you watch pro guys and those type of things, the, the biggest thing is uh, you'll see as you start back, you finish up too forward. So your timing has to be perfect and also you'll uh, lose some power because you're drifting uh, too far forward and so when you make contact you're more up on your front foot or you're more making contact up with your upper body compared to your entire body so as I do land foot remember as you do land foot once the front foot lands you're done going forward so I put those lines for you to recognize so at this point of our swing we should be able to just rotate into a firm closed front side uh, but your head position I draw the circle a little smaller here. Your head should, uh, position should not move in regards to your swing. So if I take my head, you want it to, that once that front foot lands, I want to stay within that circle of my head. And you'll see as I go forward that I'm going to come outside of that circle, which means I'm going to transfer my weight too much into my upper body, and I'm going to lose a lot of power. Um, and get less consistent because I'm going to be more upper body uh, strength compared to my lower half. So you can see a contact and we're kind of completely off of our backside and we're going to be more uh, really too far up and forward. The other thing is notice on that front foot is too open. So I want to go ahead and back up here and draw a circle around your foot. So when you land, you never want to land past a 45 degree angle with our foot. As I land with my foot, you can see kind of your heel is, is facing pretty much back in this area. You want your heel to be really turned more towards this part of the field over here. And that's going to get you to hit against a closed, firm front side. And right now it's a little bit of an open front side. You can see how the, that front hip is really open uh, because of that front foot is open. So make sure at this part of our swing that that heel is, again, not going to be facing more towards back here. You want that uh, foot to be facing more in this area, and that's going to make a big difference in regards to leverage, again. 
Uh, at this point of our swing, as far as if I do an analysis of your your body here, uh, your head, typically what you want to do is you want to draw a straight line from your knee uh, that goes straight up and down, and you want your head to be on that plane. So you can see that yeah, your head is more uh, about a foot farther forward than, than you want it to be, because you basically you want to create this angle of your leg to be here, and then you want your front side to kind of be there in regards to a closed, firm front side. So your head needs to go back about a foot, and this is going to bring a lot more uh, to your back foot. Instead of being on your toe, you're going to be more on the ball of my foot, and that's going to make you, instead of wanting to go get the baseball, you want that um, the ball to travel to you. In order for it to be a strike, it obviously has to, to travel to you compared to you going to get the ball. So as I go to swing, your upper body is in pretty good shape, and you have uh, a decent hand path. You stay through the ball. Uh, I like how you have a palm up, palm down drill right here where your, your palm stays up without breaking plane. But again, your lower half, you can see how it's more of a golf finish. Uh, I would try to keep your head a little bit. You can see your head slightly turned. Uh, try to imagine just a Coke hands uh, kind of balancing on top of your head where you can try to balance that. Your head's just a little bit sideways. But my biggest concern is just your lower half uh, of wanting to go get the baseball. And you can see even at the end, you kind of came back a little bit to be more athletic. But you can see that front foot is open too much. Uh, it's pointing right at the pitcher at the end. And we're too much on our uh, front side here. And, and I know the pitching for this BP was probably a little bit on the slower side, but uh, it's a good indication for off speed and those type of things to make sure that I'm nice and strong. The, the interesting part is, is you actually start wider and finish more narrow. So if I uh, take this line, I draw it from the, from the front of the foot to the back of the foot on both. You can see when I go to my swing and I finish, you finish more narrow than your start. And, and that's very important of, of uh, big league hitters. When, when they start, they start at a certain position, and then you're going to end farther apart. But again, you can tell at the end of your swing uh, that you came up too much on your backside. You want to be more on the ball of my foot here. So uh, if I delete this arrow right here, you want to have this entire part of the green circle to be on the ground at this point. And again, at this front foot, you don't want it to be facing uh, back here. You want that front foot to be, uh, that heel to be facing more this direction to keep that front foot closed. So instead of your front foot looking kind of this angle, you want that front foot to be closed off. And if I draw a straight line to where if this uh, entire part of my foot is going to be on the ground, this is going to take your back knee back to uh, this area. So if I go a straight line up, this is where your head should be in regards to having your your head be like a foot back, which means the angle of my leg will be kind of this angle. And then that front side, that distance is great. Leave your foot there. Just bring your, your back foot. What I would do is take your back foot and I would bring your back foot back to about here. What that's going to do is it's going to create some, some nice angle for you here. And it'll bring your back, your head, and your whole body is where you want it to be is back here. And then leave your front foot where it is, and that's going to get your power line and get you really strong at contact. Uh, and it's going to help you stay through the ball. If you can learn to stay back, man, there's, there's no telling of how far you can take uh, your athletic ability. We just have to get more consistent with these bigger fields and facing these stronger pitchers, we just can't go forward to do it. And I think what's going to happen is, is what I would do is I would finish, uh, I would focus on taking your swings and really holding your finish. You can see how you kind of come back at the end, but swing and hold your finish. And it's very important for you to take a peek down, see if you're looking down your back leg, see how much weight you're putting on your back foot, see if your front foot is closed off, and those type of things, and that's going to really help you because your hands are, are a huge gift in regards to your bat speed and, and your strength. Uh, but if we don't stay back, uh, we, we're we not going to have a chance. Seeing this last swing right here, how we went up to go get the ball out in front. 
Um, and again, it, on slower pitching or BP or whatnot, but um, good hitters have to make adjustments and you have to let the ball travel. So I think this is going to make a big difference. Work on hitting the ball the other way more and just, just really work on letting that ball travel. Uh, when you do warm-ups, put that tee really deep where you can focus on hitting the baseball inside of our feet to make sure that that ball travels. Uh, at the end of our swing, hold your finish, check down, check out your feet, uh, but just do a lot of tee work so you can really get in your habit. Get in front of a mirror and check yourself out. Go slow motion when I swing and really work on that backside stay in half. And this is uh, going to be very exciting when you get this. Uh, it's going to make a huge difference in regards to your swing. So uh, we look forward to having you back and, and appreciate you coming out to camp. And we wish you the best and, and look forward to uh, seeing how you progress. Hopefully you enjoy this video.